And today we are going to discuss the species of Plasmodium. There are up to 172 species of Plasmodium, but only four of them causes disease in humans, i.e. malaria, and are of medically importance. These are Plasmodium vivax, Plasmodium falciparum, Plasmodium malaria, and Plasmodium un. Now we will discuss the characteristic of these four comparatively. First of all, we will look at the occurrence. The Plasmodium vivax occur at tropical and subtropical region, while the Plasmodium falciparum occur in tropical and subtropical region of the Central and South America and Africa. The Plasmodium malaria occur in tropical Africa, while Plasmodium uel is commonly found in West Africa. The disease caused by Plasmodium vivax is benign, threatening malaria, while the disease caused by Plasmodium falciparum is malignant turton malaria. The disease caused by Plasmodium malaria is benign quartan malaria. The disease caused by Plasmodium ovale is turton malaria, which is also benign. Now look at the infection of the cell. The type of RBC which these species of Plasmodium infect. So the Plasmodium vivax infect the young RBC. Plasmodium falciparum infect all type of RBC. Plasmodium malaria infect old or senile RBC. Plasmodium oil infect uh, reticulocyte which are also young RBC. The incubation period which are given here or the average incubation period. Now the average incubation period of Plasmodium vivax is 14 days. That of falciparum is 12 days. Malaria Plasmodium malaria is 30 days. Plasmodium oil is 14 days. The fever periodicity, as you know that fever is one of the most important symptom of malaria. Now in Plasmodium vivax, the fever repeats itself after 48 hours or 3 days. In Plasmodium falciparum, it is also approximately 48 hours or we can say 3 days. In Plasmodium malaria, the fever repeats itself every 72 hours or 4 days. In Plasmodium well, 48 hours. Now the drug resistant only Plasmodium falciparum has the ability or we can say have the drug resistance. The other three Plasmodium vivax, Plasmodium malaria and Plasmodium well have no drug resistant found. Hypnozoid formation. Only the two of the four cause the formation of the hypnozoids in the liver. These are Plasmodium vivax and Plasmodium oil. While the Plasmodium malaria and Plasmodium falciparum do not cause or their mechanism is unknown. The maximal parasitemia. Plasmodium vivax causes 25,000 per microliter the plasmodium falciparum which causes a high parasitemia as compared to the other which is 100,000 per microliter plasmodium malaria causes 10,000 per microliter while the plasmodium oil causes 25,000 per microliter relapse period relapse period is highly variable but in plasmodium vivax it may occur up to two to five years and plasmodium falciparum recrudescence may occur in plasmodium malaria 10 to 40 years relapse can occur in plasmodium well it is from weeks to months now the presence of schiffner bodies or we can say schiffner dots Schiffner dots are seen in only Plasmodium vivax and Plasmodium oil. Now let's see the other feature. Here you can see the size of the infected cells. Usually the Plasmodium vivax infect, infected RBC are enlarged while that of falciparum are normal, while that of malaria are smaller to normal, and that of whale are enlarged. Number of merozytes, number of merozytes in schizons. 
in plasmodium vivax the number of merozoids in schizozoans are from 20 uh, from 12 to 24 while that in plasmodium falciparum is from 18 to 24 and plasmodium Malari that is from six to twelve, and Plasmodium ovale that is from six to twelve. Now the gametocytes. This is a very important characteristic which differentiates Plasmodium falciparum from all the three types. As you see that the gametocyte of Plasmodium falciparum is crescent or banana shape, while the other are round. Now move toward the tropozoites. Tropozoite is a ring-shaped form which is present in the RBC. You can usually see the ring-shaped tropozoite in RBC in microscopic examination of the film.